Hi guys, this video talks about all the important aspects of the SBI PO exam. Fine, trust me, most of the people start their preparation for this for this SBI PO but have no idea about this importance of the topic. So this video is called a health check video. What I mean by health check is basically to check what are the type of question which are coming in the exam. Fine, and to work focus more on those those areas. Fine. I don't know how you pass your exams. I passed my uh, college by doing last year का papers fine so what I used to do I used to identify all the important area for last five years which are coming and work more on that fine so this workshop is all about the average of last five years so that you can know what kind of topics are coming and what are the important areas yep so be with me for the next few minutes I'll walk you through all the areas first of all your target fine before we jump on the thing let's fix up the target the target is 120 marks this time. 120 out of 200 is the target score. Obviously, the cutoff is much lower than this, but obviously, if we target 120, then only you will get 110. Fine. So, the target remains as 120 marks for the PO. Alright, so another important aspect why you target this thing is because of your salary expectation. If you are in Mumbai, you post in Mumbai after your SBI, you will be getting a salary of around 8.4 lakh, which is no doubt a very good salary for everyone. That's the reason why everyone is coming and focusing on. Uh, PO exams, yeah, engineers, BCom, BMS, everyone is focused on the exams. All right, so this slide gives the overview: 50 marks verbal, 50 marks DI, reasoning 50 marks, general awareness 50 marks, and essay writing 50 marks. So this is your 250 mark paper which you are going to get, and that's your overall scope of the exam. Fine. Now I'll go deep down into each of them and find out the importance of everything. Alright, this is very very important slide. So I wanted to sit with pen and paper so that you can take the notes and everything because this will be very very important for you once you start your preparation. This slides give you the overview about the importance of the topic versus important topics versus their level of difficulty. Alright, so DI 50 question, logic 50 question, verbal 50 question, GK 50 question. Fine, easy question. Out of 50, 23 questions in DI were easy. So almost 50% of the paper will be easy. I'll go deep down to that as we go along. 13 questions this thing. So total 73 questions were easy in the paper out of 200. 75 medium and 50 difficult. So on an average, you can expect 75 easy, 75 medium, 50 difficult. Fine. So this these 150 mark paper is your target. Yeah, anyway, though so 200 by 200, you cannot complete. You cannot score 200 by 200 marks. Fine, but what we can do is we can at least target these 150 marks which are easy and medium and get a score of 120. Obviously, with 80% accuracy, you can get a score of 120, which is not at all a bad option. Fine, so that's your target setting that we will be doing. So, if you are a seating student, if you're planning to join us, then I'll be setting up the target for you for each of the areas. All right, fine. So, let's have the first part logical reasoning, all the important areas, and what to prepare in that. Fine, so important topic wise, puzzles. There are always two logical puzzles co decoding, critical reasoning, seven questions on critical reasoning, syllogism, five questions, analogies, five questions, data sufficiency, three, input output, and visual reasoning. Fine, trust me, the few areas in which are more deciding factors are your syllogism. 90% people do this question wrong. Fine, if you are doing five questions, you will get three by five. People don't score five by five. That's why we are keeping six workshops for this area because this is a very very important area. These, these are the workshop. If you plan to join us, these are the workshop we'll be connecting in class and online. If you plan to join us online, logical puzzles, six workshops again with the shortcuts. The main factor is shortcut. Second deciding factor is critical reasoning. Seven questions are going to be there, and trust me, most of the people will do this wrong. Fine. So twenty. We are going to connect twenty workshops to make sure you get full marks in this. This is also called verbal reasoning area. Visual reasoning and input output are next two areas. So we'll be covering again 20 workshops and two workshops for each of them. So, so this is the total scope. I've told you which are the important area, which are not that important area. So critical reasoning, syllogisms, input output, and visual. These are the four areas out of the total paper which you have to seriously work on. That's why we have more workshops on these areas because these are the important areas. Yeah, I'm not saying others are not important, but I'm trying to say is that these are the main areas which normally people score less in. Fine. See, if it's an easy question, everyone can solve. But if it's a tough question, if you are able to solve that, then you are a champion. Fine. Because the problem is you have to beat the competition. 
all right visual reasoning is one area five question going to be there which and 20 workshop we are going to have for that for example and verbal reasoning so there will be 10 questions 20 workshop we are going to have for that because this these two areas are scary for that so you have to work on these two areas fine so 13 easy 21 medium 16 difficult so this section was little bit on the higher side because this is easy for everyone fine so that's why the cutoff is also a little high from this section Alright, so this slide is again a breakup of each of section. Logical puzzles out of 10 questions, 4 easy, 4 medium, 2 difficult. Fine, so please pause and take a note of all these things. Fine, for example, uh, directions, 2 easy, 1 medium, 2 difficult. Alright, so critical reasoning, 1 easy, 2 medium, 4 difficult. Visual reasoning, 3 difficult. So these are your areas where we have to focus on. Fine, moving to the data interpretation section is normally length in the paper with 25 question 23 25 easy and remaining medium and uh, difficult fine di is always length in the paper that's why i'm launching di without pen di without pen is my concept in which i teach data interpretation without using any formula you can see my video sample videos if you're not a theater student just to know what i'm talking about what i mean by di without pen fine so please go through them so that you get an idea Alright, All right, so that's your main areas. Radar based question that was a new type of question which is the one every year there is one experimentation they do. Line graph, pie chart, mix chart, bar chart, table. So there will be three tables, two bar chart and that's one on each of them. So all my DA without pen workshops, there will be probably around 20 workshops on them which is more than sufficient to crack the area. Fine. But trust me that's one of the very very scoring area. It's scoring because other people will not be able to score here. Fine, it's not score, scoring because it's easy. Easier to everyone can score, but if you're able to solve within a tough question, that is where your main thing will come. That is your main accuracy, main advantage will come. All right. Fine, so again, please pause the video. 23 easy, 19 medium, and 8 difficult questions were there from this section. Alright, moving to the next area, verbal section, which is trust me the weak area for almost everyone. Fine, so let's talk about that. Fine, main topic RC, which is ignored by everyone. Trust me, 90% of people leave RC in the exam because they think RC will be difficult. But trust me, if you are using CC taking strategies, we can solve RC in half the time. And that is what we're going to work on. I'm going to have eight workshops in there. So 20 questions on that. Fill in the blanks, five questions, para jumbles, five questions, close passages. Vocab based question, grammar based question, that's your overview. Grammar is normally always easy. And there's a the number of workshops we're going to have for each of them. Alright, so RC if I talk about, now out of 20 questions, 4, 6 questions were diet questions, easy questions. Inference based questions, 6. Antonym, synonym based, 4, 4. So out of these, only these 6 questions are difficult. Remaining for 16 questions are no problem. So target at least target those questions why to leave the complete program because of that fine so we can target 16 out of 20 questions on rc and these are the 10 questions these are the four questions in france valley which people are scared of and that is making your confidence go down fine so 17 easy 20 medium 13 difficult that's your overall <coughs> break of the 50 marks Please pause the video. RC 6 easy, 10 medium, 4 difficult. I already told you the 4 way which 4 questions are there, which are going to make or break your things, right? So fill in the blanks again, medium average. In fact, last year fill in the blanks were very, very difficult. So, and RC is almost 600 words on an average. Fine, so para jumbles, please pause and take a break up of all this. Alright, move to the last part GK section. Now before I go to that, let's compare two things. How much time you take to solve a DI question? 30 seconds if you are a shortcut, 45 seconds or even up to 60 seconds, one minute. But how much time we can take to solve a GK question? 5 to 10 seconds. That's the advantage of GK which I'm talking about here. Fine. That GK is ignored by everyone, but it's very, very schooling. Trust me, because quick mark. Easy. All right, 17 question on banking and Indian economy a lot, lot of questions were there on budget so please go through the budget fine current affairs last six, six months current affairs eight questions computers 13 questions marketing eight questions 
fine so that's your overall scope for this thing for c18 students we are going to have three three sessions on each of them total 12 sessions to go through all the things all right so that's a break up here 6 20 question 15 15 break up and the difficult are not because they are difficult to solve they're difficult because you've not seen those words not seen those questions fine if you know something you can easily answer but if you don't know it'll be very uh, difficult to answer all right now that's a very very important slide most of the people spend maximum of their time on current affairs but look at the level of difficulty one easy rest all of them medium difficult but look at last two computer seven easy question 10 easy questions 17 mark we can easily solve out of total 20 easy questions 17 are going to be from banking and sorry from computers and marketing so these are your two areas to focus on fine so please pause the video and go through this thing again please pause and take a note so please take a note because this is very very important to know know your competition and all my youtube videos you can download also so please if you want you can download the video so that you can keep this thing in place with you or take a screenshot of these level of difficulties because they are going to be helpful they are going to be very very helpful once the exam come near okay all right move to the last part writing skill 50 mark paper fine uh, so it's, again there's nothing official about nothing big about this uh, easy topic fine you have to write essay you have to write one essay one letter one paragraph one precise writing you get options for that you can choose the essay and one rc which you solve so total 50 marks so it's not 20 50 marks paper will be there that's your overall view of the exams so please go through that again once again so that you can focus on that from the books point of view if you have joined for theatering students these two books phase one books phase two books these two books are more than sufficient to prepare for all the bank pure exams all the major exams all the last year papers everything we have covered here which comprises on phase one part one and then part two so that we keep you motivated till the end yeah that will be more than sufficient it's the right time to start taking the mocks fine start the easy mocks don't jump onto the very tough mock so at three taking first few mocks are very easy and then gradually will increase the pace fine so that you keep on to keep you motivated trust me at 200 mark paper you cannot solve immediately overnight so let's start the 50 marker paper 50 50 then 100 150 so gradually will increase the pace to larger number of questions and that's a strategy which always work for the seat king students Alrighty, so if you want to have more information, please go to our site cetking.com. If you want to join the classroom program, you can call us on 9820520380. And online courses which you can join anywhere, correspondence course, we'll be sending you the books as a courier and everything will be included. So that you can call on this number. So please feel free to call us for any information. Alright, all the best. Thank you.